A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Let me sing for my beloved, my love song concerning his vineyard. My beloved had a vineyard on a very fertile hill. He dug it and cleared it of stones and planted it with choice vines. He built a watchtower in the midst of it and hewed out a wine vat in it. He expected it to yield grapes, but it yielded wild grapes. And now inhabitants of Jerusalem and people of Judah judge between me and my vineyard. What more was there to do for my vineyard that I have not done? When I expected it to yield grapes, why did it yield wild grapes? And now I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will remove its hedge, and it shall be devoured. I will break down its wall, and it shall be trampled down. I will make it a waste. It shall not be pruned or hoed, and it shall be overgrown with briars and thorns. I will also commend the clouds that there rain no rain upon it. For the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel, and the people of Judah are his pleasant planting. He expected justice, but saw bloodshed. Righteousness, but heard a cry. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm 80. Turn us again, O God. Show the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. Turn us again, O God. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. You drove out the nations and planted it. You made room around it, and when it had taken root, it filled the land. Turn us again, O God. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. The hills were covered with its shadow, and the cedars of God by its bows. It stretched out its branches to the sea, and its tendrils to the river. Turn us again, O God. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Why then have you broken down this wall, so that all who pass by pluck off its grapes? The wild boar out of the wood tears it off and all the insects of the field devour it. Turn us again, O God, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. Turn again, O God of hosts. Look down from heaven and behold. Cherish this vine which you, which your right hand has planted, and the branch that you made so strong for yourself. Let those who burnt it with fire, who cut it down, perish, at the rebuke of your countenance. Turn us again, O God, show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Philippians. If anyone else has reason to be confident in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day, a member of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew born of Hebrews, as to the law, a Pharisee, as to zeal, a persecutor of the church, as to righteousness under the law, blameless. Yet whatever gains I had, these I have come to regard as loss because of Christ. More than that, I regard everything as loss because of the surpassing value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake, I have suffered the loss of all things, and I regard them as rubbish, in order that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but one that comes through faith in Christ, the righteousness from God based on faith. I want to know Christ and the power of his resurrection and the sharing of his sufferings by becoming like him in his death, if somehow I may attain the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained this or have already reached the goal, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus had made me his own. Beloved, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but this one thing I do, forgetting what is behind, what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on towards the goal for the prize of the heavenly call of God in Christ Jesus. 
the Gospel of the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.